William Danny Funderburk's story began April 13, 1954, Hemby Bridge, North Carolina. It didn't take long for his parents, Reverend William and Betty Jo, and siblings Vicki, Kathy, and Steve, to discover this boy had been born to sing. Danny made his debut right there with the family trio in his father's home planted church, Faith Baptist. Lovingly called Shorty by his dad, his nickname in no way matched the soaring height to which God would develop his young tenor's voice. Danny's first real quartet experience came in his father's group, the Revelaires. When they disbanded in 1980, one of the members, Charles Surratt, joined the Singing Americans and opened the door for Danny. They traveled three years with familiar voices such as Michael English, Ivan Parker, Clayton Inman, and Ed Hill. In 1983, Danny's early classic, Whiter Than Snow, was nominated for Song of the Year. He was on his way and his talents had been noticed. A call from George Yance and Glenn Payne led to six marvelous years with the prestigious Cathedral Quartet. While there, Danny's powerful tenor skills highlighted three number one hits. Somebody touched me, I can see the hand, and I've just started living, the latter receiving a dove award. In 1989, he took an interlude from full-time travel, but not long after, God called again. Danny, along with Mark Lanier, Dale Shipley, Mike Presnell, Jeff Stice, and Aubrey Stevens launched Perfect Heart. Success came quickly as their debut song, Somebody Touched the Lord, topped the charts, and Danny was back on the music road four more great years. An opportunity to expand his talents in the production world appeared. He spent six years at Sun Sound Music Group in North Carolina and produced 54 projects. Only God could know how much these valuable skills would be used on the path he charted for Danny's life. The year 2000 provided the privilege to minister with his son Jason when they formed the group Mercy's Way. Father and son had the pleasure of singing together for six years. They're thankful. Soon God began placing a new vision for service in Danny's heart, one of ministering to churches solo style in just a simple, intimate type format. He'll always love concerts, reunions, such as the cathedral's 100 years in 2010, but today finds great joy sharing the gospel in services across the country. This past year, he and his wife sold their house and now reside in a new motor coach they call home. Danny's proud father to Dana, Jason, Derek, and stepdad to Matthew and Rebecca. He credits them and his beloved wife, Shelley, his greatest cheerleaders. He's quick to thank others, his dad, Charles Surratt, Charlie Burr, Glenn Payne, and George Yance as well. Danny looks to the past with gratitude, and he looks to the future with excitement. A month ago, Danny was creating a new musical together for Christmas for his ministry. SGMA is happy to welcome William Danny Funderburg to the Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Danny. See you on the road.